Hello everybody, and this is the first video we've made guys, and um, I would just like to say that we'll be making lots of great videos for you, so hope you guys are coming along for the ride, and okay, first thing I want to tell you about is this server, it's called the Mob Apocalypse server, and we have the Mob Apocalypse mod, well it's not really a mod, it's pretty much only available as a plugin for Bucket. And for those of you who don't know, Bucket is kind of like a server device almost. And this this mod is really great. I'd like to give a shout out to the developer. I forgot his name, but it's a great mod. Check it out. Basically, uh, this mod lets you have uh, lots of great customizations. You can customize mob health, and you get to also make zombies and zombie pigmen break through walls. So that fort right there can be breached by uh, zombies, basically. And yeah, we sent around a couple of dispensers as you see here. And we have a kind of like a little colony going on. But believe me, it gets really intense. When the, at night, when the zombies spawn, it gets really crazy. And as you can see, see this wall? What zombies' uh, usual pattern is, they would have broke those walls and kind of like made a stairway to get up. And that's really awesome. That adds a challenge to Minecraft. And believe me, I, I like challenges. Because uh, I kind of think, you know, Minecraft really doesn't have a purpose. You know, it's great and all, but I just want some zombies. That's it. I just want, I just want a challenge. So that's why we made this server. And uh, since we're here now, I'm just gonna go show you a little temple we built. And what we do at this temple is we kind of sacrifice, uh, kind of like valuable stuff. And we sacrifice them. We get to choose what mobs drop. Like we made a. Uh, I believe was the spiders, yeah, we made spiders drop feathers, as you can see, you know, we need feathers for arrows, because, well, we have a lot of dispensers to fill, and really, it's a, it's a pretty great uh, mod, making them drop whatever you want, and we also have to zombies, zombies right now also drop uh, leather, and the great thing about leather is you get armor, and this is a pit right here, and basically you throw the stuff in there, and, you know, we change it, you know, it's kind of like a role play. So, basically we just drop it in here, but we must leave at night for the temple. That's the challenge. You can't go during the day when there's no mobs. You have to go at night when they spawn like crazy. So, yeah, I also put uh, some decorations around here. Just to let you guys know, this isn't actually part of the plugin. We just made it that way. But an interesting part about the plugin is there's a nightmare mode. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I think it makes mobs harder to kill. And there's also a never-ending night mode. If you put that on, obviously, never-ending night. And with a never-ending night, there's just going to be endless waves of zombies. And you're going to get overrun eventually. So that's the fun in it. And yeah, we basically have to come here and sacrifice. We've already done it once or twice offline. So basically, someone would have to stand where he was standing, and you just throw stuff into that pit. Okay, so now that I've uh, shown you guys this, I'm also going to tell you about the uh, mob mob spawners. Now, it's not the mob spawners you see in Minecraft, like the you know mob spawners you find in dungeons. It's actually a spawn point for mobs, which you actually set through commands. It's very unique because the great thing about it is you get to set it around wherever you want. You get to say how many you want to spawn, when you want, and the chances of them spawning. So what we did, we set up a lot of spawn points around the fort we have. And they spawn in waves at night. And we also set about two or three zombie spawn points. And we set a spider spawn point. And we set, yes, a giant spawn point. Okay, the chances of the giant spawning are very high. But for those of you who don't know what giants are, who played the earlier versions, they're basically huge zombies that deal a lot of damage. So, anyways, uh, I hope you guys are going to enjoy the series. I, I really enjoy playing it, and I hope you'll enjoy watching it too. So, uh, please uh, rate, comment, and subscribe on the video, and uh, ideas you want us to do. And again, thanks for watching, guys.